Hi everyone, so today I'll be comparing the Fujifilm X-T30 against the Pen F versus the uh, GX85 from Panasonic. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be comparing the three popular uh, monochrome profiles available in these cameras. So uh, everything you'll see will be straight out of camera JPEGs. I just did a slight crop and tilt, but I did have to adjust the exposure slightly as well in post-processing. But that's all I've done. And, you know, it's because the cameras uh, meter very differently in low light. So I was a little surprised by that, uh, almost by a full stop in some cases. Uh, another big difference is that the Fujifilm Acros does apply a slight grain to the image. Uh, so if, if it looks like the Panasonic is a little sharper or has less noise, not really. It's mainly uh, because the Acros is applying a slight grain to the image. Uh, now the Pen F monochrome profile number two uh, does have three different grain settings, low, medium, high, and the default setting is medium, but I changed it to low because that was a little closer to what uh, Fujifilm Acros does. Yeah, this shot here, I just wanted to balance the geometry. We have just all these squares here, so I just decided to go front and center when I only have square geometry. Uh, but I thought it worked out okay. Now here, the uh, live view is very blurry, and that's pretty much how I was seeing it with my own eyes because I didn't bring my reading glasses with me and as a result uh, a lot of times I would bump the aperture ring on the X-T30 lens or sometimes I would rotate the dial accidentally on the GX85 and not get the aperture I intended. I intended to have an aperture of f4 for all of the pictures. I like this shot because I thought it was really interesting how the uh, the, f the foliage there, foliage there kind of sparkled or looked sparkly against the uh, lights in the background, particularly with the uh, Pen F. I thought that was really cool effect here. Now on the Pen F, I was a little more consistent with the aperture because I'm just used to handling that camera. Uh, so I didn't accidentally bump the uh, exposure compensation or the aperture dial or anything. But on the other two cameras, I did struggle a little bit. But again, remember, I'm juggling three cameras, right? I got two hanging off my neck and then I'm hand holding another one in my left hand, a GX85. So it was, uh, it was a challenge in addition to the uh, my cell phone recording this footage here. What I try to do with this composition is just basically balance the three elements, the glass, the paper towels, and then the lamp in the background, forming sort of a triangle between those three and then balancing the image all together. Now in this next shot, I really like the red Coke machine in the background, and then also how the chair is kind of facing towards me a little bit, uh, making it more inviting. And then the floor tiles, you know, had light, nice uh, leading lines going up, you know, through the chair and then up to the Coke machine in the background. So it's a really nice composition overall, I thought.
In this shot, really, I just took it mainly because of the way the uh, street lamp was reflecting off the brick. I thought the uh, brick had a real nice texture to it. Alright, so I'm heading out here. I'm done here. I spent, I don't know, 45 minutes there, I guess. But driving around town, I saw this old church. So I said, oh, I got to get a picture of this. Now, when you're looking at particularly the Panasonic, uh, you know, it looks very clean, relatively speaking. Because I think I forgot to turn the noise reduction off. I normally turn it off on all the cameras, and I know it was off on the Fujifilm and the Pen F, but... I think I left it on on the uh, GX85, so the images may look a little bit soft or, you know, the details not quite as crisp. But then there's less noise, right? And while I was uh, taking pictures around the church there, I saw this old uh, Chevy truck, and it's running. It had historic plates on it. Looked like it was in uh, good order. That's got to be like a late 40s or early 50s uh, pickup truck. I should have focused on the uh, emblem there where it says Chevrolet and not on the fender. So that was a mistake on my part. Then I saw this uh, building here on the left. I think it's an old theater, but it's been converted to something else. Maybe a church or something. I, I couldn't read the sign from where I was standing. But I like how the uh, power lines are kind of crossing, uh, you know, top center. So I got some good diagonals and good geometry in this shot, I thought. And then... Uh, this is really the first picture I've ever taken of a fire station. I just pointed the camera out the car window and got these uh, three shots here. And this is the uh, metro station, but um, I really like this bridge. Bridges always make a nice subject. But what was neat was I started driving, uh, you know, under the bridge. And on my left here, I saw this bicycle just kind of sitting there. And the way the light was coming through the bridge... And hitting it, I says, wow, this is, uh, this is really cool. Good, good geometry here. I got my lines going from each corner, top left and bottom, or bottom left and top right. And how the uh, shadow leads right into the bicycle was, was good. And this is the George Washington Masonic. What was really neat there is while I was there, there was a fox that was running across the uh, front there. I got a shot of it, but it was all blurry because my shutter speed was so slow. So be sure to share with me your pictures on Instagram. And also, uh, I have a new forum on my website where you can ask me questions or make suggestions for uh, videos on YouTube. And then, of course, you can always join me for my live streams for my open Q&A on Sundays, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time.